hi booktube Lynette here and first off I just want to say happy new year to you and uh, although I'm filming this on the 31st of December this is going live on the 1st of January so happy new year and I hope for all of us that 2021 will be a much better year uh, 2020 obviously for lots of reasons um, has not been the greatest year Covid there was the fires the aftermath of the fires in Australia, um, some terrible flooding around the world at the start of the year as well. Um, and yes, and then, like I said, COVID hit. Um, so, yes, a bit of a year. Um, so in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the goals that I set myself for 2020 and how I've done with those. And then I'm going to tell you about the goals that I'm setting myself for 2021. I'm not going to um, embed um, a clips of my 2020 goals video down below. Um, I've watched it back myself just to uh, make the notes on it and I'm bored myself so I'm not going to bore you guys with it either. Um, I think uh, things on my channel um, in terms of my filming have improved a little bit since that video. Um, I will leave it in the cards up above just in case you want to go back and have a look at it for yourself and see me waffling on much as I'm doing now. So my first goal of the year uh, was my Goodreads challenge goal and I set that to 52 books for 2020. My previous year hadn't been too good, I'd only managed to read 50 plus books um, in 2019 and I wasn't quite sure how 2020 was going to go um, with still dealing with some of the aftermath of uh, the life changes that happened in 2019. So I thought 52 was a reasonable number and I was doing really well and then Covid hit and I had to take two months off of work uh, because in the UK we went into a full lockdown and my reading exploded and I have actually managed to finish 91 books this year which is not as good as say like 2012 when I finished nearly 140 books that year but um, 91 books over a target of 52, I think is absolutely brilliant. Um, I think partly it was because I was, at the beginning of the year, I was trying to take part in Romanceopoly. So I was reading a lot of romance books and I was forcing my way through those. And when I'm reading romance, I can get through quite a few of those in a month. Um, so I think that did kickstart my reading. And I think I actually hit my goal in around about July this year. Uh, I was I know I was very very close when I did my 2020 mid-year mid wrap-up um, so I think I did hit 52 books around about July uh, so I think I've done really really well um, and I'm really pleased that I've managed to achieve one of the goals that I've set myself because from here on out it's not that great so my second goal was to try and tidy up my TBR a little bit and I'd actually um, made up a collection on my Kindle of books I'd started but not yet finished and I had an aim to try and finish at least four of those this year and I failed abysmally. I have actually only finished one of those that was on that list and I finished that in the last couple of days. So I haven't finished any of them throughout the year at all. Uh, I only finished one, re very, like I said, very, very recently. Um, so yeah, I failed abysmally at that one. My third goal was to try and read four classics this year because uh, as you may have seen from um, videos I've put up this year, I have quite a few that I downloaded back in the early 2010s that I've never read and I still have most of those in fact I think I still have all of those I have read some classics this year I've read some modern classics so I've read The Colour Purple and I've read Jamaica Inn um, but as far as the classics I already possessed I didn't make any progress on them at all so again another big fat fail for the year my fourth goal of the year was to reduce the number of unread books that I own um, by reading them. And again, it's another big fat fail on my part. I started the year with around about 570-ish unread books. 
and I have unfortunately bought in excess of 130 I think I've bought in excess of 140 books this year um which is not good because I haven't read that many um so yes so I now have in excess of 600 unread books um yeah not not too good on that one at all and um I really need to make some changes which I will talk about a bit later on in this video my fifth goal was to have at least two thirds of the books that I read this year coming off of my already owned books. Um, I've been using a reading spreadsheet this year and that has been tracking whether the books were from the year that I have bought them um, or if they were from previous year. And unfortunately, Two thirds of the books that I've read this year are new books that I've purchased and not um, books that I previously owned. So again, uh, another target that I didn't hit for 2020. And my sixth and final goal for the year was actually a channel goal. And that was to try and upload at least two videos every month. And I started out really, really well. Um, I actually managed to hit that. And during lockdown, I think I actually managed to get to a roughly some months I was uploading a video every single Monday of the month. And I think I've done really, really well. I'm not going to increase that for 2021. Um, I will talk about that in a minute. Um, but I'm really proud of myself that I have actually managed to achieve at least two videos a month. Um, it's I'm finding it's a lot of commitment um, and there have been months where I've missed uh, especially after lockdown when I got used to uploading videoing and uploading so often um, but then once I went back to work sometimes finding the actual time and the lighting to be able to film um, has proved a little bit difficult uh, because I have to film then I have to edit I have to upload it and weekends is really the only time I have to film and it's the only time I have to, to spend on editing. But also I want to do other things at weekends like talk to my family and um, speak with friends. And although we can't meet up at the moment, um, I still want to catch up with all of those people. And I still want to, and, and, and it's important to me that I invest time in those friendships and relationships. Um, so I do find sometimes... Um, filming a struggle unless I plan it out in advance and I'm not much of a planner um, so that's something I'm hoping to improve on in the new year. So let's move on to my goals for 2021. The first goal as always is going to be the Goodreads challenge. Um, I've said in, in the past I don't agree with them calling it a challenge, I think that they should rename it to the Goodreads goal. This year I'm going to set it at 48 books, which is equal to four books a month. And that is related to the way I'm going to be picking my books now from um, the beginning of 2021. I am making some changes um, and I'll go into more detail in those in a minute. 48 books a month for me, 48 books a month, 48 books a year for me is completely doable. Um, it's four books a month. I can read majority of the books that I have are three to four hundred pages. I can read at least one of those a week, um, maybe one, one and a half a week if I'm doing a lot of reading and not doing a lot of much else. So it is completely doable for me and um, hopefully I will hit that target and actually go beyond it um, throughout the year. So my second goal is... I'm not going to set myself such big TBRs now for the month. When you see my TBR videos, they're going to be made up of four books only, which relates back to the 48 books for the year. Uh, I am going to continue a read-along that I started in 2020, which is the In-Death read-along. There is a series of books called the In-Death series by an author called J.D. Robb, and there are roughly 51 books out at the moment in that series and I think there is uh, book 52 due early part of uh, 2021 and I want to continue reading them I've really enjoyed it I've read one book a month um, every month 
for the whole of 2020 and it's a series I've really enjoyed. It's a series I want to continue and I'm looking forward to reading more of them because it is quite a big series. It's quite daunting and I think if you tried to binge read the series you would get burnt out on them or I know I certainly would get burnt out on them very very quickly. So I want to um, continue in the way I have been doing um, so that eventually I'll catch up with the author and where she is or eventually I will get bored and put the series down as a whole but I do think that actually reading one a month is very very manageable so I'm going to continue that for 2021. Also in 2020 I joined a book club it's the Just One More Page book club it's run by Jess McGlynn I will leave links down below to her Instagram page that she set up for the book club and also her personal page or her bookstagram page and also her booktube channel that she has here. Um, I joined Jess's book club because although we both enjoy fantasy novels, she that's that's the only way that our reading actually overlaps. Um, other than that, um, other than fantasy, I will read uh, science fiction, I will read horror, I will read thriller, um, and I will read genre horror, I will read genre filler, thriller, I will read genre suspense. I will read, um, I typically until the last year, 18 months or so, I will read romance. Um, whereas Jess tends to go off to the more literary in style, the less genre specific uh, fiction and I want to challenge myself to move my to move out of my comfort zone that I'm in and I want to explore reading all those books that I go and look at on the bookshelves and then put them back and don't take them home and by joining Jess's club um, book club I've actually been doing that this year the picks that she makes are not and from what I understand from what she's saying about our picks for 2021 is that she's going to be doing that a lot more for more of us certainly I've already seen the selection that we're going to be picking from for January and it is it is the sort of books that I would normally gravitate towards so January the January pick for me I think is going to be a really easy read for me because it is going to be something that I would normally gravitate towards anyway um, so that's my other uh, my second actual reading goal is to continue on in the book club um, reading the books that Jess sets for us every month and then the rest of my TBR um, is going to be set by using a randomizer wheel I've downloaded it on my laptop and I'm going to try and input a clip here um, of it and using this wheel basically I've uploaded all the unread books that I have on my Kindle in physical format and I left out my audiobooks um, because I don't tend to listen to those day to day um, I usually just listen to those either when I'm out running or on my walk to and from work. I don't tend to listen to those at any other time. So I'm going to be using this wheel um, to spin. I'm going to do two spins a month and that will pick the other two books that I'm going to read for the month. I've also decided that if I don't um, pick up either of these books that it sets for me that they will be carried over to the following month and it will be an additional book for the following month on my TBR. This is to try and encourage me to read them in the month that they're set rather than um, viewing them as um, options that could just be put down and picked up at any other time. I'm really determined this year to reduce the number of books that I own that I haven't yet read. Uh, I think getting a Kindle was one of the worst things I could ever have done, one of the best things I could ever have done and one of the worst things I could ever have done as the reason I have so many unread books is because they are pretty much all on my Kindle. I have a few, so I've got um, on this shelf here, I've got the uh, Wheel of Time series on my TBR cart that sits um, just over in the corner there. I've got the Robin Hobb series, uh, Realm of the Elderlings, that I haven't yet finished. Um, and um, I think most of this shelf is unread here. So like I say, my physical books, I don't actually have that many. And I think that's because I can see them. Whereas with the Kindle, I can't see it unless I run out of space, which I've never done on my Kindle. I've never run out of room, um, storage space. And 
mainly because I upgrade my Kindle to bigger um, storage capacity so I can own more books. And there's nothing there that actually smacks you in the face every day and says you need to read more. And before I had a Kindle, I would pretty much buy a book, read it, buy another book, read it, buy another book, read it. I very rarely bought a book and put it on my bookshelf and didn't read it. Um, again, like I say, I think that was because there was always a physical reminder there of all the books that I wasn't getting around to. Um, so I didn't have uh, the guilt trip, the, the, my own books giving me a guilt trip. So going back to trying to reducing my TBR, uh, my next goal is to stick to a book buying ban for the year. Now, there are exceptions. Um, like I said, I don't want to increase my TBR any more than it already is. So there are some very few exceptions. Now, I don't own the in-depth series, so I have to buy that book every month. Um, and also, unless there is some streak of luck, uh, where Jess manages to book a book that I've already bought, I'm going to have to buy my book club pick every month if I can't get it from my library or from my um, or through Kindle Unlimited. So I'm going to have to buy that book every month as well. So I'm allowed to buy two books a month, and like I say, it can only be the in depth book and it can only be the um, book club pick for the month as well. There are two other exceptions now behind me here. I've got the Slytherin editions, the ha Slytherin House editions of the Harry Potter books and Half-Blood Prince, the uh, house editions for that, I think are due out in February this year. I have been given gift cards for Christmas, so I am going to use those to purchase that one. Um, the, the amount of value I have on the gift cards is a little bit more than the value of those books. So I probably will pick another book um, to purchase at the same time when I get that one um, but I don't know so that's one of my exceptions is the house editions for the Harry Potter books um, if one of the illustrated books I very much doubt it's going to come out this year but if the next illustrated edition comes out then I will buy that one as well um, but other than that the only exception to the book buying ban is if I start reading a series because I have lots of starts of series on my Kindle. Um, if one of the picks that comes out for the month, and I already know because I've done the spins for January, if I get a series starter and I read it and really enjoy it and want to move on to the next book in the series, I'm going to allow myself to buy the next book in the series as long as I intend to read it straight away. If not, any books that I see this month that... I, or any books that I see this year rather that I want to read I am going to add to my Amazon wish list um, and then I can come back to them at some point in the future um, maybe when I have a little bit of birthday money or Christmas money to spend or at some point when I feel that yes I am in a position where I could start buying books again um, and start reading them I want I want to get back to buying books and reading them instead of buying books and storing them. And my channel goal for the year is to continue as I have been doing for 2020 and I want to upload a video at least twice a month. So you'll always get a TBR video, you'll always get a wrap up video and then I want to try and aim to consistently be uploading three videos a month. So that would either be a tag video or it will be um, 10 recommendations that I want to make from a specific genre um, or just, you know, a, you know, if I want to talk about my Harry Potter collection, um, yeah, things, things like that. I just want to try and find and be a bit more creative and um, find a third video. So you will definitely get a video on the first and second Monday of every month you may also start getting them consistently on the third Monday of the month as well. So those are all my bookish goals for the year. I don't set myself life goals. I'm not very good at sticking to resolutions. Um, as you can tell from the beginning of this video, I'm not very good at sticking to bookish goals either. So we'll see how that goes this year. Um, I hope you've all had a good year. Did you set any bookish goals yourself uh, for 2020? And are you setting any for 2021? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you all. 
if you've enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I will see you all again in probably a few days time with my January TBR. Bye!